Guys, I wanted to bring this to your attention because you really don't see this too often. It's not super expensive, but then there's not even that many on eBay. And uh, I've never came across this since I bought this or seen another one. And this is uh, the Comerica Freedom Connection. It's basically a single player, well it says it does two player, but I'm not sure, wireless adapter. You plug your controller in there, and then there's your dongle. I guess it has some kind of technology where it can distinguish between player and one and two somehow on the game. Like when you plug in both ports, you set the switch on the device and it picks up between player one and two and switches. But uh, this is, it works on infrared and the technology back then was sort of flaky. Like, for example, if you plug this into your Nintendo, say it's like right there. If you had this device that close, it probably would not work or it would act funny. Like it send button signals and it it'd do sort of its own thing. And that was because I remember reading in a manual for one of these devices back in the day, the optimal distance of functionality for these would be like about six to 10 feet, but it could go further. But if you didn't have it spaced so far, it would act up. And that's why so many people have issues with the power globe because it runs on similar technology, but you can't tell them that because they've seen the ABGN video and they know better. Um, pick this up, man. It must be about 15 years ago. I kid you not. The guy had a whole rack of these, probably about 20 to 30 of them. 25 cents. Good news is my uncle bought one of these that day. I know he still has it and he's not using it, so I probably can get it off of him for a good deal. Add it to the collection. Uh, just read the box off here. Turns your wireless, your wired joystick into a remote control joysticks. Enhances playability of game pads. Player one and two in one unit. That's what I was talking about earlier. Plays simultaneously two player games. Uh, not sure how that would work. Manual or auto file switch, so that'll give you the uh, turbo, aka enhances the playability. And also make your zap or light gun into your remote control gun. This was licensed by Nintendo, and it says Nintendo compatible. Well, what else is going to work on it? But definitely like the box art. It has a similar art to that of uh, the Nintendo, actual official Nintendo devices back then. The black with the stars, or the white and blue. So pretty sweet. Let me know if you guys ever seen one of these before. I've had this in my collection for a long time, and like I said, I've never come across them before, so I figured I'd talk about it. There you are, before my battery dies.